you guys have found a real nice old Buick, 65 exactly, and it's a Riviera. One of the baddest Rivieras, one of the baddest Riviera styles they ever had on these cars. I mean, this is nice. And we're gonna take a look at it right now. Oh yeah, guys, this is 65 Riviera Burgundy. And look at here, it's got the famous 425 uh, motor in it. Cubic inch diameter, 425. It's got red line tires on the rims. How about that? We're gonna go back around this pole here and um, cause it's a little bit of tight fit right there, but we're gonna check out this beautiful, look at those towering headlights always on the front end of these things. I mean, it made it look mean with that front end. Let's look at this front end again. With that front end grill and that bumper, it made this thing look like angry aggressive, you know? And you come up on the the Riviera sign, if you didn't look at it good enough, you'd miss it. It's so small, but you see how it glides right into there, to the front, to those scoops, you know, getting all that good fresh air coming into the car, you know, for the vents. As you come around the side, you had that real nice, solid car on a style on the fuselage the big body size because you know with the pontiac gto's you had this almost same exact body style these b body style cars you know and this thing is burgundy on a tan leather interior oh this is sweet so we can wrap around in here as you look at the dashboard another clean dashboard riviera center console Oh man, this is nice. This is real nice. Oh man, this is center shifter. Tan leather interior, guys. Look at the back seats, same thing. Tan, a little bit of carpet back there, or I always say carpet. <laughs> but this tan leather interior in the back seats. Look at how they just sink right to the back you know for comfort you know let's back out of there and um by the way these are automatic windows um electric i should say electric windows you know some luxury more for performance Look at the back end. Look at those tips coming off of that dual exhaust, man. 425. And that trunks. This thing is a nice find. Burgundy, no, no roof, sunroof on it, but who cares? This thing has a fastback style type of rear window on here. That chrome bumper, them tail lights. And come around the side. This is a sweet car, man. Real sweet car. All right, and here's the moment of truth. Coming into the driver's side. And you're looking at that back seat again. Leather interior. Driver's side, man. It's solid with no cracks, no tears. I mean, you can't beat that. That is sweet. And coming up inside, I mean, the dash, all that stuff looks good, guys. You know, speedometer, steering wheel, all of it. I mean, you can't beat this car, man, not for what it offers. Let's go take a look at the information board. 65 Buick Riviera, $39,000. You see the price, sold as is. 425, famous 425. Burgundy, black. Well, that's not black interior, guys. It was burgundy on the outside, tan interior. 88,000, two door. Here at Gateway Classic Cars. Give them a call if you like it. 
Hey guys, I found a real classic one. It's a Survivor. And uh, they got three of them in here, but I'm gonna do this one first. It's a 1965 Ford T-Bird. These things are really nice. They always have been when Ford was building them up to the last one, you know. It's a shame they don't build them anymore, but the Thunderbird could come back with these electric cars. They could bring a variant of it back. But for right now, we're gonna look at this one. An example of what they used to be, okay? 65 T-Bird is black on white. It's a survivor. It's clean, but you could buy it and take it to the next step of restoration, you know? But let's look at it as is, and you be the judge. All right, guys, this is a 65 T-Bird. Ford Thunderbird, we gonna look at this front end, man. This is all original. I mean, look at how that grill is down below, you know, right off the bumper in between there, between the top and middle and, and bottom bumpers. Look at that, you know, with that aggressive bird style up front, the headlights sitting there, make it mean, you know what I'm saying? Make it nice and mean. That's what you wanted back then. That's what that Ford did. That's one thing Ford got right with the aggressive styling. You know, and you're looking back going from the front end. And for me, it always had been a real nice style. I liked it. I always had to get used to this hard top the way they had it, though, because it went aggressive and all of a sudden conservative for some reason, you know, <laughs> and with this back window. I never did understand that when I was a kid, but I can understand that's just the way it was designed. Can't always get what you want, but with Ford, they gave you that big trunk space. So this was basically for those who might've had a small family, like one, maybe two kids, and they couldn't afford a family car, but they could afford this car or a single person that drove and had a few friends and they could put luggage in this car and they could go ride around anywhere. This was a daily, this could be a daily driver, you know. I don't see any exhaust tips off of this thing, but yeah, I do. There's one over there and they're hidden, one up under there. Yeah, so it's dual exhaust, you know? And these things were nice. My uncle had one. He had a green one. And I kept bugging him to buy that car when I was young. But that thing needed a lot of work and it was sitting up and it was just collecting dust, more so than rust, but it was a nice car. And this one here is a survivor. I mean, you can't really find much to say about it negatively, but you can see that some things need to be worked on, you know, right up in there. So it needs this 10 11 care to really bring it back to where it once was. You know, you may find a, a ding here and a scratch there, but hey, it survived mainly. So why complain, you know, but as you can look through this nice glass here, the dashboard is all black and white T-Bird. And this thing here, center console, got the air conditioning and whatnot, everything sitting in the center. Your electric windows, you know. Driver's seat, passenger seat looks really nice. And going to the back, you can see the rear seats. Man, this thing looks really comfortable. That although you were sitting there, it'd be hard for me to sit in the back and be comfortable unless you had somebody short that moved up. <laughs> and yeah, I can sit in that back seat and just sit back there and just enjoy it and sleep, you know, when I wanted to sleep, rest and enjoy my trip, you know, snore, whatever I gotta do, hey, so be it, you know. Look at that, this is a nice car. Always did love the back end of these things, you know. But what I was saying before about this, this trim off the top how it went from aggressive to this conservative it was bulky to me but in order to have space head space for the rear passengers this is how it was designed and you really couldn't complain i mean as you can look at that one over there and you see how it's the same way that's a different year model but i think that's an older year model but that's a nice one but you can see off the back see if you're coming around front Aggressive, conservative. <laughs> it always looked funny to me, you know. 
but it's a nice car over there just like this one right here now getting back to this black beauty we come back up to the, the driver's side and uh as we look in through the glass unfortunately but you can see all your instrumentation if you can see it then uh i'll tell you what i'm gonna go see if we can get these windows down i'll be right back okay guys i got the manager to open up the car cool now we can really rock with this thing so we get to see the inside panels of the doors and we can really get in here and check out this t-bird this is a nice car you know it's clean oh yeah that's all you got to do is ask <laughs> All you gotta do is ask. And look what happened. We get to get inside of here, man. We really get to see this T-Bird. All you had to do was ask. And man, look at that. I didn't even notice those vents back there for the rear default. Yeah, now let's do the driver's side. Oh yeah, this is nice. I love the design of how the seats curve around like that. Oh, total comfort, you guys. These cars were built for total comfort. Great looks, perfor performance, center console, All your interest, interest, your instrumentation, <laughs> and your dashboard. Isn't that nice? Oil, fuel, temp, automatic. Only thing I didn't care for it wasn't a center shifter, because your shifter's on the column. But you can't always have what you want. Get what you need, baby. Get what you need. And this thing here. T-Bird, guys. And when I said it was three of them in here before, there's another one right there behind me. I'll possibly get to it. And that one up there. You know, but it's three of them sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars, man, the creek. I'm so happy they let me look at it with the doors open these guys are real nice they work with you here they work with you here and they love it when you make video of their cars you know but they've had a nice look oh yeah lovely real nice real nice let's take it now if i didn't do this information board again before we go do it again one more time 65 Ford Thunderbird, 390 motor, automatic, black on white, 89,000 miles on it, $20,000. Great restoration car, sold as is here at Gateway Classic Cars, guys. Give them a call.